Questions for the Joel and Theo. So Theo, um, you've been crashing press conferences and kind of being <laughs> off to the side there for, for three and a half years. They're going to give you an open mic tomorrow night after the game. Have you given any thought to what you're going to say? It's just like uh -huh. true. Yeah, I mean, I think I prefer to have it the other way, where they just don't they don't tell me they're going to have me speak. Um, no, nah, it's going to be a great moment for me. Um, I know I'm never shy in those moments. I'm just going to tell you, I'm 100% probably going to cry. But uh, I'm just going to get that out there. Tapping kind of makes you seem like you're already nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little, ever since that Notre Dame game last game, I've been a little emotional about every game we played. Um, just understanding that it's coming down to the wire of my career here. And, um, it's tough. Joel, you got uh, engaged this weekend. Yeah. What's the what's the story there? <laughs> what's the insight into the process? Uh, <laughs> the process. <laughs> it's been going. It's been going on for a while. He wants um, some tips. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it was going on. I've been going through the process uh, just during the season, and um. <laughs> but you know, I'm not, not the only one yeah. that comes in and interrupts people's press conference. It's all good. Uninvited. Yeah. You just wanted this one moment to be taller than us. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys enjoy these two. I've enjoyed the crowd. <laughs> but yeah. Um, it was it was a big time moment. Um, I just brought her into the gym and um, I just wanted to do do it somewhere where it was least expected. And I told her I had left something here, and um, I was just out on the court and I was looking around and she was like, "Can you just tell me what you're looking for so I can help you?" And I was like, "No, I can find it on my own." And then just pulled her out to the middle of the court and um and I asked her and. Uh, it still doesn't feel true, but um, I'm happy, and uh, the biggest thing is it's about her being happy. So. I have to put you on the spot, but is Theo your best man? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's going to be, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be my best man, and uh, it's going to be the it's gonna be a great wedding. So uh, if you're not coming with energy, you're not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a shredded the program. Marcus a couple years ago, Justin last year, and now you. Is this kind of why do you think that's up? Um, I just think it's, it's a light skin thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it ain't happening over here. <laughs> yeah, I hope you. Uh, no, I ain't gonna say that. But uh. <laughs> yeah, but no. the next question. Next question. Next question. <laughs> but no, it's just all about just growing up, and um, you know, if it's if you feel like it's the time, um, it's the time, and um, I just felt like it was right for me, and um, you know, I'm moving on to the next stage of my life. And, you know, with senior night and stuff coming up and the season coming to an end, um, I just felt like it was it was the right time. So it's uh, I followed the trend, but um, hopefully we can have somebody else be a part of it. But I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's uh, it's been great, though. So. When you go back to when you got here, I mean, I'm sure you don't think about you having to be the MOP of a Final Four. I'm going to end up getting engaged, but kind of blow you away where you are now in life as opposed to when you first got here? Yeah, it has. I mean, the times I went back my freshman year to my dorm <laughs> crying and yelling over there at Theo like, man, Theo, what, what, what is going on? And we just sitting there and just we trying to figure it out. And that's the one thing that that's why our relationship with each other is just so strong is because um, – we went through the grind together, and it's times where we sat in our, our living room and just talked it out and made sure that we kept the right mindset that every time we went in the next day, um, we wouldn't let what happened the, the day before affect what's, what's going to happen the next day. And um, we, we helped each other through this process, and um, that's the great thing about us. But if you would have told me that I would have had the Final Four MOP and a national championship and whatever else, um, I I would have told you that you were lying to me, but um, it's been a dream come true to be able to 
get all these accolades and um, do it with some of the best guys. But um, honestly, you know, Theo through this process and um, has helped me a lot. And even Justin when he was here, but um, his was a little different. He was starting and everything. So I was a little bit more frustrated than he was, but um, it's been a testimony and it's been a great, it's been a great ride. So. Can each of you guys speak on this? Can you just kind of summarize what you think your legacy is when it's all said and done? Um, hopefully two national championships, three final fours. <laughs> uh, that's the goal. I mean, it's been a, it's been one hell of a ride. I mean, we went from not playing much and just trying to contribute as much as we could so we can win. And now we're at the senior year, we're very important parts of the team and trying to lead up, lead our guys to um, the Final Four. I think now it's just, we sound like dads a little bit when we talk <laughs> to the younger guys. We like, we want to get our boys to the Final Four, so get on our back, or something like that. So it's it's been a fun ride. It feels so much different. It feels like yesterday, Marcus and Bryce were telling us that, and now we're, we're um, the head guys just trying to make sure we want those guys to have the same experience we did. So it's it's a little different. So what do you think your legacy for me? Also, uh, he's been an MVP, so I didn't add that one. <laughs> I might want to add that to my list. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's been a lot of fun. And, um, you know, the biggest thing is what turned my career around here was when I stopped pointing fingers around uh, to the coaches and, saying that it was their fault for me not playing. And I finally um, just asked myself, what am, what am I doing to be able to have the – so the coaches can have confidence in putting me out there on the court? And when I asked myself that question, my whole mindset and everything just changed. And it's just crazy how it happened. And ever since then, I mean, um, it's just taken off from there. And um, leaving my legacy here is something that – um, that I take pride in, you know, I want people to remember um, what I did on the court, but I also want them to remember how I've had an impact on not only uh, the fans but or the, the, the older crowd, but even their children as well, just to show that um, it's about just having a heart every time you do something and whatever you do, just make sure that you're giving it your all and that um, – that, that you're making sure that you're doing everything in your will to be the best that you can be. And so um, while it's all about, you know, me being a basketball player, it's, it's more to it than just that. Senior speeches are a big deal here at senior night. Do you prepare something or do you just wing it? Wing it. Yeah, I think you just wing it. I think coming off the heart is yeah, people way. will remember that more. And then um, it's going to be a little late, so I'm going to try to keep it as short, short and sweet as possible. But <laughs> Leave him more time, right? Yeah, I, I got to leave him more y'all time. Gonna, it's going to be way shorter than y'all think. <laughs> but, um, if I start crying, I'm going to cut it. Because I'm going to cry. question is, will Coach Williams cry? Oh, yeah, he's a baby. Yeah, I think that we – yeah. <laughs> I think the reason why Coach Williams is will will show a lot of um, emotion is because we took a chance on this program when things weren't going good and when people told us that we weren't going to be able to make it to the tournament because we were going to have all these violations against the program. And me, Theo, and Justin, we stuck with it and we didn't listen to what everybody else was saying and we took a chance. And we honestly, Coach did a great job of letting us know that Nothing was going to happen, but at the same time, you know, that could scare you a little bit. But we still stuck with it, and we came here and did what we wanted to do, and that was to make an impact on this program and to win the national championship. And um, I think that's why Coach will, will be so emotional just to know that he had guys who believed in him, and um, and we just stuck with him through the process, and everything turned out fine. So. With, all the, with all that you guys have experienced, being a senior, you've already talked about being like a dad. Mm. What advice <laughs> would you give yourself as a freshman? Dial, dial it back to them. It's a good question. Um, just like Joe pointed out, um, don't don't point yourself at the thing. Point your finger at uh, the coaches. Don't blame it on them. Um, look in the mirror and understand what you're doing. What are you not doing? Are you are you doing everything you can um, on the court so the coaches can trust you to put you in the game? And uh, 
I think that's what I preach more now than anything is when you come in, give us something positive, and then he's like, well, why would I take him out when he's giving us something? And um, I think that's the biggest thing. Don't don't look at, oh, he don't trust me. He not putting me in the game because he don't like me or something. That's just that's childish. <laughs> and I think that's the biggest thing. Just go out there and play your game and um, do, what he t- do what you're told. Yeah, just basically what I said. Um, <laughs> Grow your hair out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. I would give that advice too. Is, you looked horrible. <laughs> yeah, I did look horrible my freshman year, so I, I totally understand why coach would put me in the game. But <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to look at you. Either. <laughs> but yeah, it's just all about making sure you do and do what you're supposed to do and putting yourself in a situation for the coaches to be confident in you. And you know, it's hard when you're coming in trying to adjust to being on your own and not having your parents there to keep you uh, accountable for what you're doing. But um, at the same time, you just have to make sure that you're taking care of that stuff yourself and um, making sure that you have to, making sure you do what you have to do um, each and every day. And, you know, I didn't learn to start stretching and stuff until my, um, going into my sophomore, uh, well, going into my junior year. I didn't know how much it meant and until I started doing it and I saw how uh, better I felt. But um, it's just all those little things. And that's what's fun about staying in the program for four years is that each and every, each and every year you learn something new about yourself and what will make you better as a person and, and as a player. And that's why I've enjoyed my time being here is because um, honestly now – I promise you, I feel like I'm like I've I feel like my dad now. Like some of the things that I've seen my dad do at the house, I feel like I'm doing now. And <laughs> I mean, I'm 22, about to go on 23. So it's just fun to see how the things that I picked on my dad about, I'm doing those same things now. So I think the biggest thing to that too is like you have to go through those struggles. Also, I think like um, going through those struggles, you learn from that, and and I think us going through it our freshman year has made us to the man we are today as far as uh like I remember <laughs> this probably sound bad but when Syracuse came back in the in the and tied the game up just the other night I was like been here <laughs> we just gonna do yeah. what we do and get back in this game and go make a play and uh it's just coming going through those experiences like that just make you better as a person on and off the court do you have a favorite off the court memory for each of y'all maybe over the last four years oh, that stands out? Mm. There's plenty of obviously. Home yeah, games. it's tough. There's a lot of them. The biggest thing is from I think just overall in general the last four years, um, I can say that um, me and Theo, you know, a lot of guys feel like they always have to be focused on basketball a hundred percent and. They don't let anything else get involved with their lives, and it's just all about basketball. But for us, I mean, y'all see it on the social media. We're out dancing um, in our rooms. We're, every time you see us, we're always joking around, smiling, and, and laughing. And, you know, that's what it's about. It's about enjoying the process and having fun. And um, me and Theo, we're, we're able to do that. And that's what's so great about it is that we can – have fun as being kids and still go out onto the court and have that that killer mindset. And um, that's why I've enjoyed being around Theo um, and just enjoyed being here knowing that I can have fun while also um, being focused as well. For both of you, uh, what's one thing, and there's probably more than one, but what is one thing that stands out that you've learned from Coach William that you apply to real life away from basketball? Um... I think the number one thing for me is family. Uh, from day one, coming in in the summer, you see all the guys, former guys coming back and um, coming to play pickup and wanting to see coach and see how he's doing, stuff like that. Uh, that just goes far beyond my understanding, really. I mean, it's just I don't know if other teams have stuff, things like that, but all the big-time guys come back. Marv, um, Michael always comes back sometimes, and um, – Raymond. So I think that's the biggest thing. He's always a family guy and he really cares about his players and he treats us with the utmost respect and always wants the best for all of us. Yeah, um, the biggest thing I take from coach is 
just putting other people before yourselves. Um, it's times where coaches pulled me to the side during practice or during the game and have told me and has told me, you know, maybe um, you could say that in another way. And he told me that because you never know what people are going through during their days and. The only time you ever see them is at the gym, but you don't understand what they've been through. And so if someone is acting a certain way or doing something, you, you never really know what's the re why the reason they're being that way. And so just putting people before yourselves, I mean, even when we eat meals, coach always lets us go first before the coaches. Um, whatever we do, we go to the plane. He always says players go first. And so he's always putting us before him, and that's the one thing that I can take away from Coach. Could both of you guys kind of go through what your first impression was of the other? Like, Joel, did he go first? What was your first impression of Theo? And, and when did y'all, like, officially meet? I'm assuming it was in the summer or AAU or something. Yeah, well, I knew about Theo, I think, before he knew about me because on um, every tournament or, I mean, every uh, – what would you call it? Showcase event that we went to, you gonna hear him. And I was the I was more of the quiet dude because I really didn't know anyone. But you heard Theo all the time, and um, we met at what McDonald's when we really first started yeah. talking. And um, from there, it just clicked like that. And it's and it's funny because we never knew it. We didn't know anything about each other, and all of a sudden, once we started talking, I mean, we just got comfortable with each other. But um, it was just funny to see him, to just sit back and see him interact with all the guys because I knew from then that he was a funny guy. So, Yeah, uh, it was McDonald's. Um, that's when I first officially started talking to Joel and Justin uh, a lot because we knew we was going to the same school, so we wanted to become better friends, of course. But, um, yeah, first impression was probably I was mad at the world all the time. I mean, y'all can see he makes that mad face on the court. Never smiling. Well, he smiled more this year. It's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, I just always thought he was a high head. But, you know, I didn't care. I still talked to him. <laughs> That's about it. Have time for a couple more. Have you guys uh, played any more video games like the famous <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I think we only played – if we play a game, we're on the same team. <laughs> You know, I don't think we've played it against each other anymore. You know, he got a wife now, so he got he got, he don't got time for your boy no more. <laughs> you got to make sure she good. Happy wife, happy life. Uh, <laughs> you have words. Yeah, yeah. Come on, now. Oh, I never man. thought that was coming, but, you know. <laughs> have you said a date yet? Uh, I'm looking for probably next summer, somewhere where I have um, time, but. I think it'll be, it's, it's going to be hell trying to plan a wedding, so. <laughs> That's her job. Yeah, you better hope she'll hear that. Well, I got to be there. I think, I guess I just got to be there to say yes or no, but. <laughs> no, no, more no, no, no. Than, you always just say yes. 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 Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes will always just, yep, keep the process moving, so. Yeah. <laughs> you say yes, we'll stay Yeah. I, I, hey, I who would have thought our last press conference would be about you getting engaged? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is crazy. This better not be your last. You say you got a whole. Oh, well, yeah, I see what you're saying. My yeah. fault, Curse. Why yeah. you get so angry? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that, Curse. She is, yeah. Uh, Kelsey Porter, and she was a dancer, but um, her class situation kind of stopped her from doing that. But, yeah. She's a senior. She is a senior. I did. So, uh, that's why I want her to go wherever I go. So, that's why I kind of took the initiative to go ahead and get that out of the way, so. <laughs> uh, Y'all been here obviously four years, and two Final Fours, a lot of uh, well-known on campus, on fans, any crazy stories with fans on campus with students that stands out given the high-profile-ness of, your, uh, yeah. of yourselves? I mean, I think the biggest thing is they always do, like, they bring random schools here to, like, take tours of school and little kids. You'll just be walking around on campus, and they're like, I think that's Pinson. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, I can hear you. And, I mean, those, it's just, those are cool moments. I mean, you just don't ever think about you had touched so many kids, and so many kids are watching. And it's, uh, 
So it's a cool moment. I mean, they walk around campus like every day, it feels like. And pretty cool. Um, I don't have one, but I mean, the same thing. It's just like everywhere you go, you're always taking a picture. Um, the weirdest thing for me is when I'm trying to eat at a, at a restaurant and I can just feel somebody just staring at me. <laughs> and I'm just going in on my plate and I look up and somebody's looking right at me. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm just trying to enjoy my meal. But honestly, you know, it's just one of those things. I'm, I have a big caring heart and sometimes that, Sometimes what bothers me is that, um, you know, I wish I could sign everything that everyone brings up to me. And sometimes I feel like I'm being a little, I don't know, I don't want to say the word, but I just feel like I want to be able to do it for people. And I just don't have the time to do it that much because I'm always just trying to focus on what I do. So, like, if I'm running out to the court, I want to sign everything that I can. But honestly... You know, um, you know, I can, but you hear people like, come on, you can sign it, come on, come on. And so, like, those things just bother me because if I could, I would do it. And um, and so, but it's just great to have a big following of fans and everywhere you go, you know, you have somebody supporting you.